The Prelude of Transformation, Recognizing Life's Subtle Signals In our lives, moments arrive that seem to test our spirit, resilience, and inner truth. These are not random occurrences, but meaningful signals from the universe, indicating that a significant change is on the horizon. The first step to understanding these signals is to recognize that the universe communicates through experiences, each one tailored meticulously to foster our growth and readiness for transformation. Consider the times you face challenges that seemed insurmountable. These are not merely obstacles, but are actually profound opportunities disguised as adversity. They invite us to deepen our understanding of ourselves and our place in the cosmos. Each challenge is a question posed by the universe. Are you ready to evolve? Are you prepared to let go of what no longer serves you to embrace a higher state of being? Challenges often come when we least expect them, during periods of comfort or complacency. This is the universe's way of nudging us toward self-reflection. For instance, you might find yourself in a job that no longer fulfills you, relationships that stagnate, or personal behaviors that hinder your growth. These situations persist until we heed their lessons, indicating that change is necessary for progress. Moreover, the universe tests our commitment to our path. When you set a new intention or make a significant decision, obstacles invariably appear. These are not signs to deter you, but to forge resilience and conviction within your spirit. How you respond to these challenges determines your readiness to embrace the new phase of your life. Click subscribe to this channel to get more profound spiritual lessons. Let's consider the power of attitude in these situations. A positive, open-hearted approach allows you to see obstacles as formative rather than punitive. It's about shifting perspective from, why is this happening to me, to, what is this teaching me? This shift is crucial for spiritual and personal growth. Furthermore, these universal tests often push us to release outdated beliefs and toxic patterns. It's as if the universe holds up a mirror to our deepest selves and asks us to take a closer, honest look. What do you see in this reflection? Are there aspects of yourself that you have been reluctant to confront or change? Practical advice for navigating these times includes staying grounded and connected to your inner wisdom. Meditation, journaling, and nature walks are not just activities, but tools for maintaining a clear channel of communication with your higher self and the universe. Through these practices, you gain clarity, which helps in interpreting the signs life presents you. Lastly, it's essential to maintain faith in the journey. The universe does not test us without also equipping us with the strength to emerge victorious. Trust that each challenge is perfectly designed for your evolution and that you are fully capable of meeting the moment with grace and courage. Now, how might you view your next challenge as an ally in your transformation rather than an adversary? The Dance of Detachment, Letting Go to Move Forward As we progress on our path, one of the most profound tests the universe presents is the challenge of detachment. This concept, often misunderstood, is crucial for our spiritual evolution. Detachment isn't about indifference or a lack of caring. Rather, it's about releasing our over-reliance on specific outcomes, thereby enabling us to embrace the flow of life with greater ease and trust. Why does the universe test us with detachment? It is because attachment to outcomes, people, and material possessions often leads to suffering. When we cling too tightly, we create unrealistic expectations and set ourselves up for disappointment. Detachment teaches us to invest deeply in our actions and intentions while freeing ourselves from the burden of predetermined results. Imagine planting a garden you prepare the soil, plant the seeds, 
and provide water and sunlight, but you cannot force the plants to grow in a certain way or at a specific speed. Similarly, in life, we can lay the groundwork for our desires but must allow space for nature or the universe to work its magic in the timing and manner it sees fit. The test of detachment also comes in the form of relationships. Often we hold on to relationships out of fear, habit, or obligation, even when they no longer serve our highest good. The universe nudges us to re-evaluate our connections, which can be painful but ultimately freeing. Learning to let go with love and gratitude rather than bitterness or regret is a key lesson in spiritual maturity. In your personal journey, you may find detachment challenging because it confronts the ego's desire for control. The ego fears uncertainty and change, but the soul thrives on growth and renewal. By practicing detachment, you align more closely with your soul's purpose, which is not fixed but fluid and ever-evolving. Practically, how do we cultivate detachment? Start by observing your reactions to changes and disappointments. Notice when you feel resistance and explore what fears might be driving that resistance. Meditation can be a powerful tool here, helping you to become an observer of your thoughts and emotions rather than being controlled by them. Another practical step is to practice gratitude daily. By focusing on what you are thankful for, you shift your attention from lack and loss to abundance and presence. This shift is not merely psychological, it has profound spiritual implications, aligning you more closely with the universal flow. Lastly, engage in regular self-reflection. Reflect on where you might be holding on too tightly, whether to a job, a relationship, or even old self-identities. Ask yourself, what might become possible if I let go of this? The dance of detachment is not about losing. It is about gaining freedom, flexibility, and faith. It opens you to new possibilities and deepens our trust in the journey, allowing us to move through life with lighter hearts and a greater sense of peace. Now consider what current aspect of your life might require a more detached approach to liberate both your growth and your joy. The Mirror of Relationships, Learning Through Others In our journey through life, the universe often uses the mirror of relationships to reflect deep truths about ourselves that we might otherwise fail to recognize. Each relationship, whether fleeting or long-lasting, carries potent lessons about love, boundaries, and self-awareness. Understanding how relationships serve as a universal test before significant changes in our reality can profoundly shift how we engage with the world and ourselves. Relationships are rich with lessons because they bring out our most authentic selves. They compel us to confront not just who we think we are, but who we truly are. Have you ever noticed how different aspects of your personality emerge with different people? This is no accident. The universe places us in situations with others to teach us about our own depths, our capacity for compassion, tolerance, and understanding, as well as our tendencies towards judgment, impatience, or fear. Consider the people who challenge you the most those who trigger strong reactions or emotions. These individuals are often your greatest teachers. They mirror aspects of yourself that you may be uncomfortable with or need to develop. For instance, if impatience is a trait you dislike in someone, it might be a trait you possess but have not fully acknowledged or addressed in yourself. The test here is to use these reflections to grow rather than to react defensively or withdraw. It involves asking difficult questions. What is this relationship showing me about myself? What unhealed parts of me are being reflected in this interaction? This level of inquiry requires courage and honesty, but leads to profound personal growth and healing. In addition to reflecting our traits, 
Relationships test our ability to set and respect boundaries. Healthy boundaries are essential for healthy relationships. They teach us where we end and another begins. The universe often tests us by placing us in situations where our boundaries are challenged, pushing us to affirm our self-worth and to teach others how to treat us. Learning to establish and maintain boundaries is not just about saying no to what you don't want, but also about openly communicating and affirming what you do, want, and need. This clarity and assertiveness in relationships are crucial for personal happiness and are indicative of deep self-respect. Moreover, relationships test our ability to give and receive love unconditionally. The challenge here is to love without attachment to outcomes, without conditions, and without expecting anything in return. This type of love is transformative and is the highest form of love one can offer and receive. Practically speaking, improving our relationship skills involves active listening, empathy, clear communication, and regular self-reflection. Tools such as therapy, relationship coaching, or even spiritual practices like meditation can enhance our understanding and execution of these skills. Lastly, Remember that every relationship, no matter how challenging, is an opportunity to practice love, patience, and forgiveness. These are not just virtues, but powerful tools for spiritual growth and transformation. Now, think about a recent interaction that stirred strong emotions in you. What might this be revealing about your needs, boundaries, or areas for growth? The Crucible of Solitude embracing alone time for inner growth. One of the most profound tests the universe gives us on our path to a significant reality change is through the experience of solitude. Solitude is not merely being alone, it's a deliberate and meaningful engagement with our inner self. It offers a sacred space to explore who we are, independent of external influences and societal expectations. This part of our spiritual journey asks us to dive deep into the essence of our being and discover what truly motivates, scares, and excites us. Solitude is often presented as a challenge because it confronts us with our deepest fears, particularly the fear of loneliness. However, there is a substantial difference between loneliness and solitude. Loneliness is a sense of lack, a feeling of something missing or an absence that needs filling. Solitude, on the other hand, is the presence of oneself. It is in solitude that we meet ourselves fully, without the distractions or masks that often accompany our social interactions. In the silence of solitude, the universe speaks. It is here, in the quiet moments, that we can hear the whispers of our soul guiding us towards our true purpose, but are you listening? Are you allowing yourself the space to hear your own thoughts and to feel your own feelings deeply? During these periods of solitude, you might encounter uncomfortable truths about yourself, habits you need to change, dreams you've neglected, or wounds that require healing. The test is to face these discoveries without judgment but with an open heart and a willingness to change. Moreover, solitude offers the perfect environment for creativity and innovation. It is in the quiet that great ideas often emerge. Think of the solitude as a crucible in which your raw potential is transformed into manifest reality. What could you create if you embrace solitude as your ally rather than your adversary? Practically, you can maximize the benefits of solitude by establishing a daily practice that nurtures your spirit. This might include meditation, journaling, reading, or any other activity that allows you to connect deeply with yourself. Make a commitment to spend a certain amount of time alone each day or week, just being with yourself, exploring your thoughts and emotions without distraction. It's also important to balance solitude with social interactions. While solitude is enriching, humans are inherently social beings, 
and meaningful connections with others are also essential to our well-being. The key is to find a balance that feels right for you, where solitude and social life complement rather than compete with each other. Lastly, embrace the transformative power of solitude. Recognize that these moments alone are not signs of unpopularity or rejection, but are opportunities for profound personal growth and self-discovery. Now think about the last time you truly allowed yourself to be alone with your thoughts. What did you learn about yourself in those quiet moments? The Challenge of Change – Navigating Life's Transitions Change is one of the most constant elements of life, yet it is also one of the universe's most rigorous tests. Every person faces numerous changes throughout their life, career shifts, relationship evolutions, relocations, and personal transformations. Each of these transitions challenges us to adapt, grow, and often to let go of the familiar and embrace the unknown. Understanding and navigating life's transitions are crucial for our spiritual and personal growth. These periods of change often act as gateways to new opportunities and deeper understandings of ourselves and the world around us. How we respond to these changes can define the trajectory of our lives. The fear of the unknown is a natural human reaction. It stems from our primal need for safety and predictability. However, the test here is to lean into the discomfort of not knowing. Embracing uncertainty allows us to be open to possibilities that we could never have foreseen. It requires a deep trust in the universe, that it is guiding us toward our highest good, even when the path is unclear. Practically, you can cultivate this trust by reflecting on past experiences where unexpected changes led to positive outcomes. Use these memories as anchors of faith when facing new uncertainties. Resistance to change is another common reaction. It can manifest as fear, anger, sadness, or even denial. These emotions are not only natural but also valuable. They signal areas where we are being called to grow. By exploring our resistance, rather than avoiding it, we learn what we are truly made of. To work through resistance, try to understand its source. What are you afraid of losing? What does this change challenge in your identity or beliefs? Journaling, therapy, or discussions with trusted friends can help unpack these feelings. During times of change, maintaining some form of stability is vital. This might mean adhering to certain routines, like regular exercise, meditation, or engaging in hobbies that ground you. These practices can act as lighthouses, providing light and direction amid the stormy seas of change. Remember, no one navigates change in isolation. Seeking support from others who have gone through similar experiences can provide comfort and guidance. Similarly, offering support to others not only aids them but also reinforces your own learning and growth. Finally, each transition provides an opportunity to celebrate growth. Acknowledge and honor the ways you've expanded and evolved through these changes. Celebration is a powerful affirmation of life. It reminds us of our resilience and our capacity to navigate the complexities of life, 